One reason why you are not getting ahead financially is because you are sabotaging yourself without even knowing it. What I'm about to tell you can be hard to understand at first, but once you understand it, it is going to change your life. Respectfully, respectfully, never take financial advice from anyone who has never constructed anything. Go to them for wisdom, but not financial advice. There is more wisdom in observing than in doing, but true mastery can only come from direct personal experience. Why is it that when you want to learn about fitness, you go to a trainer who is himself fit? When you want to learn about dancing, you go to a trainer who is himself a dancer. But when it comes to your personal finance, you take advice from just anyone. In Africa, as soon as you begin to make money, everybody gives you financial advice. Please, find yourself a mentor. Find yourself someone who has been on the same path that you, you want to be. Don't find yourself a coach or a motivational speaker. A motivational speaker will give you a lot of motivation. But if your dreams are big enough, even motivation has its limits. Motivation is an emotion. Like anger or happiness. You cannot be angry all the time. If someone is angry all the time, what do you do? You find them a doctor, right? I am telling you that if someone is motivated all the time, you, they need help. Because motivation is an emotion. That is why sometimes you are motivated today, the next day you are not. Because the emotion of motivation has weeded off. You cannot motivate yourself to success. Have you wondered why in Africa we have a lot of motivational speakers, yet we remain one of the poorest continents? We have so many motivational speakers, but nobody is wealthy. <laughs> I understand in Nigeria, they have started beating their motivational speakers. Because say, you have motivated me, I am motivated, but do I have sense? I am motivated. What should I do with the motivation? When someone motivates you, they give you spikes of the emotion of motivation. As soon as they leave, you lose it. And if you don't take care, you'll hate yourself and you'll hate the person who motivated you. In fact, motivation is the problem of Africa. We are too motivated. Too much motivation and zero guidance. In fact, too much motivation is the reason why a lot of African youth today are involved in internet scam. Too much motivation, zero guidance. We are tired of motivation. It breeds anxiety. Nobody is teaching practical knowledge. You know why? You are not going to like it. Because practical knowledge cannot be taught. Respectfully, respectfully. If practical knowledge could be taught, a university professor who teaches finance should never be poor. What you have learned in school is powerful but let it stay within the confines of academia. Honestly, a system that teaches you to draw a pig and label it cannot have your best interest in mind. Find yourself someone to cut soap for you. Associating yourself with someone, what it does to you is that it allows you to build a consistency of habits. So that when you wake up, you are not motivated. You look around, everybody else is doing it and you have no option. You look at the leader and the leader becomes your objective. When you are driving a car, it is not motivation that keeps you acceleration. But it is the consistency with which you step on the gas pedal that keeps you going. And if going home is your destination, it doesn't matter how many accidents you have on the way. You can be in coma for six months, but when you wake up, you are going home. A million obstacles is no match for a man with a destination. Motivation is an emotion. Make no mistake, I have come to motivate you, but I hope to motivate you only once. I want to be the spark that ignites your dreams. And if you have watched my videos and you are motivated, I say thank you, but my job with you is done. I am interested in one who has understood the essence of this video.